In this video, I just want to continue the theme of looking at individual athlete responses as opposed to just going off of the, the group average. And this is going to continue on from uh, this video that I did earlier here. So if we've, we run two interventions with our athlete, we want, athletes, we want to see which one we're going to use moving forward. On average, they responded better with, with this intervention, so we might as well uh, use that. But actually, when you drill down and look on an individual level, you can see that there are there are several athletes that, that perform better under intervention A. So should we be looking at the data more closely and aligning the athlete with the intervention that works best for them? So this video is about uh, one method that uh, would enable us to do that. And if we draw the data individually, and I'll go straight to, straight to what the end product looks like here, we can so this is each athlete plotted individually with their response. So you've got intervention A in blue and uh, and B in orange. So you can clearly see which athletes preferred which intervention. Also, what what we have here is the coefficient of variation, and 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 in, this is going to give us an idea of that error or the variability within the test. So anything that falls within the shaded area area is just. Um, is error and we can we can we can discount it basically. So where you got these two athletes here, they didn't perform better on either or the other because it's both within the error of the test. And same for this athlete. So if one intervention cost more than the other, then just run with the cheaper one or the one that was less time expensive. Um, given that there's a ton of other jobs that, that as as coaches or sports sports scientists we could be getting on with. Um, so in terms of how to put this graph together so again I go to we start to look at this on, on an individual level and we come to the coefficient of variation in just a moment but we can draw that quite quite simply insert and then we'll go with our graph and so now we have our individual responses but remember every test that you do um, will have error associated with it so we've decided to choose a particular test that is going to judge the efficacy of these interventions, whatever that test might be, I don't know, jumps or sprints or some other uh, um, metric. So what we can do is add in the coefficient of variation. So, And how to calculate that, we've looked at in, a, in another video, which is, which is this one um, down here. So when we come into here, now let's just draw the, the whole thing. And you can see here that the gray is clearly where it's the uh, coefficient of variation, where it's all four across. All we've got to do is switch that to a to a line graph, and then we end up with a graph that 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 looks like that. All I've done here then is copy it across into PowerPoint and then stick a, um, a somewhat transparent box over it just to make it a little bit clearer. So we can be a bit more confident in, or we can more easily detect those those results. Now the other thing we could consider doing is, again from that that video, you'll note that when we compute the coefficient of variation, we can actually get an individual coefficient of variation for each athlete. So you could say that why don't we just work off the individual coefficient of variation? Because some people might um, be more sensitive to change than than four than. And, and require a smaller change than four percent for the, the the change to be deemed as real. So, and this athlete here, here, and here, for example. So, if I drag that across, now you could you can say that these are the coefficient of variation specific to each athlete, and their score score must be outside their coefficient of variation for the change to be deemed real. So, all of a sudden, G, where before we had we had clearly that the intervention was better. Now there's no difference because both scores fall within this individual athlete's coefficient of variation. Um, potentially the, the issue with, you, with going this way is that, well, I mean, it's that much harder to interpret, but really as coaches, we should work on getting the variability of each test that we do as low as possible to make them more able to detect change. So some of these athletes where they've got, and this athlete's got seven for example, probably spend a little bit more time with that athlete 
to get that score down to, to four. So I would more see the challenge when we have athletes that are demonstrating large variability is actually working with them to bring that variability right down. So probably for that reason, I think I'd go with this. But of course, you know, um, everyone's open to their own interpretation of how to, to move forward. Uh, equally, just as, as another example here, we could look at the effect on, say, cold water immersion. You've got two games back to back, and should you run cold water immersion or not? And so here you get some negative scores. So um, because if we did jump height, for example, jump height might remain below baseline for some, um, but might creep up for, for others because the cold water immersion was, was really effective or, or whatever other intervention you run with them. So again, you could plot it and it, it looked like this. Just on this time where you put the coefficient of variation, you'll just need to have a positive score and a negative score, so obviously just minus one. And then again, you can do the same with the individual variation. Again, just multiply it by minus one in, in, in the opposite so that you get that score. And when you go across, you get something that looks like this. So when you, when you read it, B done better with the intervention. If you look here, athlete D, just done better being left being left to his own devices. So again, where time and expenses uh, it goes into the decision, well, it makes the makes that a lot easier here. Okay.